Hello, my name is Andrew Lefevre. I'm a software engineer here at Teleport, and today I'm going to quickly talk about a new feature coming in Teleport 13, registered OpenSSH nodes. When you register an OpenSSH node, it will appear in your inventory, uh, here in the web UI, as well as on TSH, and it will allow you to set labels to those nodes, and so you can use role-based access control on them. So, here I have already created a node resource here, a file here, and I'm going to register it. I assigned a random UUID for the name to make it unique. I give it a label here, admin only, so I can show you that uh, RBAC works later. I assigned its IP address and host name, and now I am going to register this resource with Teleport. All right, it's registered. So now I need to create a host certificate for this OpenSH node that Teleport will trust. Uh, I, I'm going to set the principles for this host certificate to be the OpenSH node's UUID, host name, and IP address, so we can connect using any of those names. And then this will create a host certificate and write out you and create you know write it to Ubuntu host and Ubuntu host cert. All right, and now I'm going to export the OpenSSH CA from the Stellar cluster, which will be needed for the OpenSSH node, and you'll see why in a second. And now I will move all these files over to the node. All right, now let's go over to the node. Here I'm in SSH session on the OpenSSH node. I move all these files we just copied over to Etsy SSH. And let's we'll see there. All right, I'm going to make sure, set the permissions to be more restrictive so that OpenSSH doesn't complain when it's host certificates and CA keys and everything are to open. All right, I'm going to edit sshd config and tell it to trust uh, keys signed by this open SHCA because when you connect from the web UI or TSH um, through the teleport proxy to an open register open SH node, teleport or this is telling the open SH node to trust keys from this teleport cluster, but it won't allow anyone else to connect using uh, random other keys, just through teleport, which is trusted. And this is just saying that the host certificate that we generated earlier should be used. Else, if we use, you know, the default host key, then teleport won't trust this node. All right, let's go ahead and restart SHD, okay. And if we go ahead and refresh here, see this node here, and we should be able to connect. There we are. All right. Now, remember how this has this label here, admin only? Well, let me log out and log in as a different user. This user, user ha isn't allowed to access nodes with the admin only label, and as you can see, it doesn't even show up here. Well, let's see what happens if we try to connect to it. Log out of the admin user. I'm going to log in as the user user. Now, if we try, I can't spell. We try SSH here, it should fail. Yep, because the teleport user user is not allowed to access nodes with the admin only label. And if we connect here again. You 
can see that this session recording will be available. <laughs> and I spelled Tolbert wrong, but you get the idea. So there you have it. OpenSSH nodes, or registering an OpenSSH node allows you to quickly and easily view in your, in your inventory and use role-based access control to connect to it.